the Cadillac. That's where it came from. So this was Ellie Herman's idea of the springboard this way. There are other versions of springboard or towers that are on the wall. So you'll see does even that other studio has a different setup, but it's basically the same exercises on any setup. The only difference is understanding where to put the springs and the bar or the straps or the hooks. So uh, I've given you a reference of the springboard. I haven't really given you reference in your book on the Cadillac where that would be. So you just want to imagine that you've got all the hooks when you're out there. That one can go anywhere, that speed rail. The main difference is uh, here we actually have more height than what you'll get over there between the top of the Cadillac and the top of the railings. You don't have as much space as you do here. So some of the exercises where you want to be reaching a lot tall are better on the springboard than on the Cadillac. Unless you put the person on the floor in front of the Cadillac and then you actually create more space. So there are, um, I'll refer back and forth. I haven't written that much in the book. As long as you can do the exercises here on the springboard, uh, that is fine. So you don't need to remember the transition to the tower at this point. You will, you will integrate that um, as you get more experience. And it'll, just, it'll be easy at that point, so I don't want you to stress about that piece for now. Um, it'll, it'll just come. Uh, so uh, a couple things about the springboards. Um, they usually try and leave them, and I've done a pretty okay job, with the bar at number six. When the bar on the yellow springs that hold the bar are the same, they're called the arm springs. So if you're going to change, you can change to the handles, right? They, you would change the bar for the handles, because that these are the arm springs. Um, and then the leg springs are, so there are two different ones we have. We have purples and we have yellows. Purples are heavy, yellows are lighter. And they're considerably different. So. Uh, I, right now we have yellows over here. We have two sets of yellow springs that are yeah. on these two ends. Right now we have more purple springs, they're just behind Laura up there hanging on that, just off the edge oh, of the shelf yeah. there. So if people want the purple, you can switch out. If you end up with too many people needing yellow springs, you can in fact put the foot straps on the arm springs. Mm -hmm. oh, right, okay. That'll make it, there, it's a little, it'll be a little bit lighter still than the yellow springs, or somebody who's really small. So I have a 92 year old, and I put her feet in the yellow springs, arm springs, not in the leg springs. Uh, so you can do that too, and I've done that um, sometimes, and I'll do that sometimes out there, because we don't have the yellow springs, but they're just the purple ones. So, um, and then, so I leave the leg strap at usually number two, the leg springs at two, and the um, bar at six, and then the handle is just hanging off the edge of the bar here. And I've named them um, the floor bar, I've called this, because I didn't know what to call it, the bar on the floor. So in your book you'll see it as the floor bar, is this one, and then the springboard bar is this one, I can't remember what I had called it. <laughs> the springboard bar is this moving bar up here. The, this is the springboard bar. Um, the Cadillac is the push-through bar, right? The push-through bar is the one with the metal. Okay. So that's how you can keep those straight in your brain. That is classically called the push-through bar. And this is classically called the roll-back bar, or the springboard bar. Roll-back bar, push-through bar. Right? So um, if you just remember the push-through bar and know that any other bar is this one, yeah. you're good. Push-through bar has the metal, so it's fixed. So which bar? is going to create more stability for somebody. Cat. 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 Push, through. push through bar. Yeah. yeah, it's going to create much more stability. So if you're looking for stability, you'll use that bar versus this one. If you're looking for uh, having to work stability with somebody who's okay, you would use this one probably to challenge a little bit more. Um, and I guess the only other thing is that I put in the spring heights. Sometimes you'll see a little bit like five or six, or seven or eight, or eight to ten, it's going to depend on the height of the person, right, and the difficulty. So the angle of the spring sometimes really matters. There's a few exercises where it really matters. 
if the spring is lower than the shoulder, if the spring is higher than the shoulder, or if the spring is level with the shoulder. But that's basically how you'll judge which of the 8 to 10 you're going to put them on is based on where it is in line with their body in the spring and the line of pull that you want. So the angle of pull is going to change which muscles are working. So keep that in mind. If the, if the springs are really low and they're, you're asking them to hug a tree with really low springs, which structures are you more likely to be working? Diagonal and down, right? If I put the springs from above, I'm going to be pulling that way, so I'm more likely to get into the upper deltoids and pecs, right? So if I put them in the middle, then I get the best of everything. Right, so you just want to keep that in mind with the springs.